It's Dario Tedesco's job to monitor and study Africa's two most active volcanoes in the Democratic Republic of Congo. When they're at risk of erupting, it's safest to go by helicopter. We joined him for a visit. We set off from the city of Goma, home to about two million people, and perilously close to Mount Nyiragongo. Inside the crater on its summit, there's a lake of lava. Just over a week ago, lava came gushing out of two splits in its sides. One of the streams went into the city of Goma. This is what it did. Thousands of people lost their homes and everything they own. Sebudiori Mufumo's seen this happen three times over the 85 years he's been alive and felt earth tremors since he was a small boy. There are a few records of the volcano's history, but people here have known its dangers for generations. The elders used to tell us that if the mountain is annoyed, check it. If the mountain is annoyed and you see fire, then you must run away. A kilometre and a half higher than the city, the helicopter is able to land on a shelf inside the crater of Mount Nyamuragira. All around the edge of the crater, there are plumes of gases coming out of cracks in the ground. It smells eggy, like sulphur. And the surface of the ground is made up of this mixture of ashy rock. It's warm to touch and it's full of holes because this was boiling, bubbling, molten rock. And in the crater itself, the level of the lava is low at the moment after a series of eruptions in the last few years. But we keep hearing piles of rocks breaking off the side and crashing down into the bottom. And so there's clearly still seismic activity going on. Dario wants a closer look. The volcanoes sit on the side of the East African Rift, where two tectonic areas have been pulling apart from each other for millions of years. The two volcanoes being also very different one from each other, they move at the same time because the reef is starting to move. The seismic activity is due to the reef. The reef suddenly moves and then unfortunately the people start feeling and all this activity, all these energetic earthquakes. The UN, which Dario works for, have had peacekeepers and humanitarian programs in Congo for more than 20 years. Observing the volcanoes is critical for trying to predict eruptions and keeping people safe. The crater is best seen from the air. The volcanoes here are not well understood compared to others because of the lack of historical seismic data. But they're as spectacular as they are dangerous. Malcolm Webb, Al Jazeera, Mount Nyamurugira, Democratic Republic of Congo.